Hallelujah! It's another encounter with the power seeds and powering your life. Well, we have an amazing topic today, and the topic is make your life a spiritual habit. Make your life a spiritual habit. And our key text is taken from the book of Acts 8, verse 39. And it says, And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that, that the Enoch saw him no more. And he went on his way rejoicing. Hallelujah. Let's look at the thoughts on the text. I'd like you to know that the supernatural is a depth of untapped realities over and over and again we have heard about seeing and experienced the supernatural there have been testimonies of healing deliverances resurrections favors and lots more some people have had visions trances and words of knowledge and some others have experienced prophetic depths working of miracles and so on that is the life of the supernatural philip was one of the deacons of the early church who manifested several signs after jesus death and served god's kingdom fervently he served the kingdom of god fervently hallelujah as an evangelist he served the kingdom of god fervently his life was characterized by faithfulness wisdom godliness and a good report of deep spirituality and faith in God hallelujah just one person had all of this together on one of those days as he went about his business an angel visited and led him to an Ethiopian Enoch who at this time was reading the Bible but couldn't understand it when he met the man he explained the scriptures as he had read to him. God him saved and baptized and then left him. Hallelujah. Notice that he did not just leave the spirit of the Lord. He did not just leave, but guess what happened? The spirit of the Lord took him. And as the verse says in verse 40 of Acts chapter 8, he was in a new city where he had been carried. The Spirit of the Lord took him. He was led by the Spirit. He didn't just go there on his own. He was led by the Spirit. And he was able to explain God's word to him. Hallelujah. Now let's look at the application. Into this word, Philip would not need a visa or any means of transportation to get into different countries as long as he was in sync with the Holy Spirit and ready to do his bidding. No doubt. Philip habits was the spiritual. He lived a spiritual life that he was able to discern what the Spirit of the Lord wants. He wasn't walking according to his to, to, to the way his flesh was leading him, but he was walking according to the directives of the Holy Spirit. And he did according to the beating of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. As a result, he and many others enjoyed a supernatural life. As it ought to be, they enjoy the supernatural life because we're able to listen to the Spirit of God. If you make your life a spiritual habitat, spiritual realities will become second nature of you. But if you make your life a natural habitat, natural things will be the norm in your life. So which would you choose? Would you want to make your life a supernatural habitat or a natural habitat? Please choose wisely. Hallelujah. God is interested in revealing his secrets to you. He desires that you live in the consciousness of spiritual realities. But then, you need to press in. The Bible says in, in, in the book of, um, um, I think, Philippians 3, 13, um, Paul was saying that I press towards the mark of the high calling of God by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You need to keep pressing if you want to live the life of the supernatural. Aren't you tired of living the life of the natural people? I don't know, but you know that if you walk in the supernatural, you make less mistakes. You, you wouldn't even make mistakes because God is going to direct you wisely. Like a father in the Lord always say that God can never mismanage our destinies. So I'd like you to live the life of the supernatural today and the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. 
Now I'd like you to make the spiritual your dwelling place and watch the supernatural become your reality. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'd like us to bow our heads as we pray together. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are my dwelling place. Let my life reflect divinity. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done in Jesus' name. Can we celebrate the Lord? Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Our action point today is be conscious of God's presence as you live through your day. Be conscious of the presence of God. Just know that there was something I found in the Lord said one day. He said the Spirit of God is involved in everything we're doing. If you have him, he's involved in every affairs of our life. So be conscious of his presence. Know that he is there. Hallelujah. And do not forget that in Gateway International Church, we still have our amazing annual program called January to Please God. We started on the 20th, uh, we started on the 15th of this month, January, and is going to end on the 26th of this month. Please do not forget to keep watching Life's Internet Work for that program and other social media platforms by 5 p.m. every day. And the Lord is going to honor you as you keep doing that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm still your humble presenter, Constance Kingsley. And keep watching Life's Internet Work TV, your gateway to possibilities. See you again in another edition of The Passage. Oh.